This clip is a fine example of two separate generations of swing dancers working together to capture something magical. <laughs> the modern swing dancing community isn't very old. Every modern dancer who is actively contributing to the art form can specifically point out their influences. And most of the time, these influencers are still alive. And what's interesting, it's very rare to have those moments where the influencers work with the influenced. And what's weird is those rare moments are not often captured on video. And when they are, the value of the two dancers working together isn't appreciated until it, you look at it in hindsight. This clip is such a profound example of this happening, and we're gonna take a look at it. But before we jump in, make sure you check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. So let's jump right in and take a look at this clip. Oh, good. I don't think you guys realize what it takes to be really unique in swing dancing. Normally, couples have to compromise in one way or another to match each other's tone, especially when there are two different generations of dancers performing together. And usually, it's the new kid on the block 
that has to make the adjustments. And I feel this performance works because I don't see either of them struggling to match each other. This choreography is very loose and allows the viewer to appreciate their natural expressions of movement. But it's also tight when it needs to be in order to fit the music. Being loose and tight seem like contrasting approaches that shouldn't work and they normally don't but this is where i feel like this routine shines on one hand i feel like if it was too much moving and stopping it wouldn't allow us to appreciate their natural personalities making the majority of the routine feel too contrived and if it was too much flowing movements everything would just seem predictable but they somehow nailed that sweet spot one of my favorite moments in this routine seems like something that isn't a big deal in terms of choreography, but it is when you're social dancing. It's this moment right here where they're doing scissor kicks in closed position on both sides. That's some really tough stuff. This is where I feel a lot of choreography with Dax often is underrated because it doesn't just show a lot of cheap contrast to get reactions from the audience, but it shows a more technical display of talent that isn't often appreciated unless you're a really advanced dancer. And this is why I like this routine because it doesn't focus too much on those hyper-technical moments. Although it has many of them, it, it still balances them well with just some basic approaches that can help the casual viewer appreciate the overall routine. This is just one of those routines that makes me value these dance personalities even more. And I personally consider them in my top 20 Lindy Hopper's list of all time. So what do you guys think about this routine with Dax and Pamela? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I will get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.